you now have a show on HBO, you know, for people who think that you live on this couch. Hey! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And this, of course, is not your first HBO appearance. No, absolutely not. You were, of course, on Oz. Correct. And on The Sopranos. Yes, sir. Now, The Sopranos episode, I don't quite remember. It was, uh, you know, there's not a lot of black people on The Sopranos. So <laughs> right. it was one episode, uh, me and my man, shout out to Trigger Tretch, was in this episode. Okay. Where I basically played a rapper who was, I guess they was trying to, act like I was like a 50 cent type of individual who ended up getting shot and when he got shot the the him getting shot helped his record sales mm. okay oh I think I do remember so now yeah, Tretch yeah, yeah. Right. was a rapper that I was supposed to be working with and bringing him up so now he's like damn I, I might not even pop now because of what he's doing. So one of the gangster guys is like, yo, I could shoot you too now. I remember that. The, the episode is called Fre Fleshy Part of the Thigh. So they end up shooting Tretch in the ass, like out somewhere in the hood, you know, and he's hopping around. It was a hilarious scene. Okay. And, um, yeah. So did you actually get to work with Tony yeah, Soprano? I worked straight with um, Gandolfini. Found out we were born on the same day, September 17th. Uh. Also worked with another legend, um, Hal Holbrook was in the scene. Do your Googles on Hal Holbrook if you don't know who that is. He's a legendary actor that you've seen in millions of things. Now, what was it like working with Tony Soprano? Because that was like, you know, because that was really his show. Right. Yes, all the other characters were brilliant, but really, it was Tony Soprano's show. Yo, he was the nicest guy. Like, there was no, you know, Tony Soprano shit about him. Like, you know what I mean? He was just... Crazy cool to work with, giving out compliments and just, you know, he didn't make you feel like he was on some star shit. You Dope. know what I mean? Like he was actually, from his trailer to the set, he was riding like a bike and shit. You know what I mean? I guess trying to get his little exercise and shit. Right. You know? And he passed way too young. What was he, like maybe 50 or something? Something like that. Yeah. V very young. I mean, this is why we got to watch you wait, watch you that, watch you eat. Uh, yeah. It. Exercise, balance it out. Can't do everything wrong. You know? Exactly, exactly. And of course, you were on Oz for how many seasons? Uh, I did twelve episodes. So I was like a season and a half. Okay. Now, how did you end up getting on this this new HBO series, The Night of? Um, I auditioned for it. You know, I got a I got a lovely uh, manager that I've been working with for years now. Shout out Lillian LaSalle. Um, yeah, and she gets me in front of certain places where I need to be, and then I just do the work from there. You know, okay. they're not putting me in because I'm a platinum rapper or even a gold rapper, you know what I mean? They yeah. put me in there because I do the work, I be knowing my lines, I show up on time, professional with my shit, so. Cool. Now, there are other rappers on this uh, HBO series as well. Tretch is on this again. <laughs> again. Sticky Fingers is in this. Yep. Um, Actually, the, the, the guy who plays the lead, my man, uh, his name is Riz. I, forget, I think Riz Ahmed is his real name. He's from London. He's like a, you know, I don't know. I want to say some sort of Indian, Pakistan or something like that. But he rhymes himself, actually. He's nice, too. Like, he's known over in England and shit. Yeah. We don't know about him over here. So, you know, I guess when you're doing the jail thing and all of that, Rappers add a certain authenticity to it, you know, yeah. like definitely Sticky plays a little goon in this, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. But yeah, you know, it's a little different for me because they got me on the other side of the law. Right. You're actually playing a, a prison guard. A CO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now, now, I know the series is not out yet, so, you know, I'm sure you've signed some certain paperwork about, you know, letting yeah, the plot well, I don't even, like you know. I know about it, but I don't even know all that much about it. Like, I didn't get the whole script. And all that. What's the general premise of this series, and why is it called The Night Of? The general premise is it's about this guy, this, I guess, Pakistani-type American who is accused of, like, a murder or rape. Now, we don't know if he did it or not. I don't know, but he's accused of it. But he's like a real square type of dude. So it kind of shows, you know, how you get into jail. It's easy to get in, but it's hard to get out, kind of, you know. Hmm. And it shows his his little transformation of, you know, how he comes in there and how he ends up 
I don't know if he gets out. To be honest, like I don't know the whole story. To be honest, but so is it like, is each, is it a, a series of continuing stories or is each? It's episode? one story. It's, yeah, it's one okay. story. So it's a mini series, but it's eight episodes. Okay. Spread out for one and, story. Okay, so it's one story mm -hmm. on, on eight episodes. Right. On HBO, which has a impeccable record, when, when it comes to. The stuff they put out. Yeah, I mean the director and the writer. You know, this guy wrote like uh, Gods and Kings. The the you know the the Egypt shit. He wrote the Lady with the, the Dragon Tattoo. Schindler's List. Oh wow! He has writer's credits on. Okay, <laughs> like, like okay. Yeah, this guy's serious. Big, like, big Hollywood yeah, yeah. stuff. And one of the guys that was directing, like when I first got there, the first episode I did, he just did that um the Theory of Everything. Mm -hmm. Directed that 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 uh, Stephen Hawkins movie. That oh right, yeah, I saw that. Nominated for for an Oscar. Yeah, and all of that. So dope. yeah, it's some big, it's some big John Turturro's in it. Yeah, got to work with him too. Right. Oh, he's he's dope. Yeah. So yeah. No, absolutely. It was dope. It was beautiful. You know, like a lot of people uh, want to get into acting, and uh, you know, as someone who who's been acting for a while, uh, you actually. You know, because I've done a little bit of TV stuff here and there, and I know the cool part, you know, which is different from reality shows, when you actually are acting on a TV series or a movie or whatever else, you actually sign with the Screen Actors Guild. So you actually make money every time the show is rebroadcast. So, so you're actually getting checks from Oz and from Sopranos and stuff like that. This is the advantage of actually being part of these types of productions. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, over time, the checks get smaller and smaller. Right, because it gets course. broadcast less. It's like anything. Yeah. But shit, the first time it come on, you get that first check, it's damn near what you got paid for the shit. So you'd be yeah. like, oh, hell yeah. Right. It's beautiful. You right. know what I mean? And then, yeah, you got enough shows under your belt. You're getting checks, you know what I mean, from multiple things. That, you yeah. know what I mean? For yeah. Yes. When, when it gets picked up. Overseas and oh, any is. kind of syndication show. If you're yeah. lucky enough to get on a show that's syndicated, which right. I've been on quite a few, um, that's all right. You now, gonna, have you ever taken any like acting lessons or anything else like that? No, I never haven't, actually. No, so you my, just walked in and just I'm gonna do me. You know, I, I've always studied it. You know, I'm a I'm a scientist, so I'll look at something, take it apart in my mind, put it back together. So I've always been studying acting for a long time. It's something I wanted to do for a long time, but I just didn't really know how to get into it. Um, then when I kind of just spoke it out to the universe, that's when shit just started coming to me. Right. You know because I, mean? I know, for example, like 50 Cent was taking acting classes. Like right. he, he was really like boom, boom, boom. Right. You know, and that's how he was able to do films like De Niro, Pacino, and stuff like that. Um, you, never, you never felt like it was necessary for you to... Take it, you know, like, okay, I'm going to get an acting coach. I'm really going to start really going extra hard on it because it is very lucrative if you can get in the right situations. Right. Um, I mean, I've thought about it, but at the same time, it's like the one who I call my, my acting coach is Eamon Walker. Okay. That's the guy that played Saeed on Oz. Okay. okay? Like he took dudes to the side, not just me. But like he took dudes to the side and made sure that we was prepared when we was in a scene. You know what I mean? Especially the black actors. Like, because a lot of times, you know, to be honest, they take more time for the white actors' scenes. You understand? Make sure they get it right. They let us do our shit. Okay, yeah, let's move on. Nah, 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 nah. And he wasn't having that type of shit. Right. He was like, let's make sure we get this shit right. Because they already know they might cut our time. <laughs> so the first day, he had like a bunch of us, even some extra type dudes that was going to be in the scene, come in there and practice. After that, I started going like to lunch with him. And me and him was talking. He's like, yo, you're a natural, B. He said he never went to acting class. Mm. Okay? And he's done Othello. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm telling you, you're a natural at this. Just keep doing the knowledge. Keep, you know what I mean? The best class is just experience, just doing. Like anybody can go to school for something and all of that, for business. The best business class is to just open a business. Acting class is to be on a production 
with, with professional people, watch yeah. what they're doing, and allow their greatness to bring you up. Yeah. Like, for example, I've never taken a film class, but I've, I've had, you know, films on Showtime. I had a documentary on Showtime, on MTV. Uh, you know, I did one of the episodes of American Gangster on BET. Like, yeah, a lot of it is just throwing yourself in with the right people and having the right types of ideas. And having the confidence to say you can do it. Exactly. Like I've directed videos too before, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Just right. because I felt, yeah, I can do that. Right. You know what I mean? And I do my studying, but as far as any formal training, no. No. Well, anyways, congratulations on the series. Uh, I'm definitely hyped Thank you. to see Thank it come you. out. You know, yeah. when's it dropping? Uh, June 10th. Oh, shit. No, July 10th. July, July 10th. 10th. July 10th. Next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Look, I work with them on Mad. Mm -hmm. Good guys. Mm -hmm. Good heart. Good guys. Give you the shirt off their back. Is it, is it ironic? Is it, is it a coincidence that they both, most of their friends are white and got white wives? They like white women? I, I mean... And they develop envy because they go home. They get out the car with they with with, with their friend, with their other partner, and he listening to your music. They walk in the house, they girl listening to your music. They go downstairs, the kids doing a dance to your music. Now they are hypnotized with hatred. 